Daddy, Daddy Show. Are you ready for the 12 days of Christmas painting challenge? Come with me and let's count down together. Hello again. Are you ready to paint? I hope so. We're going to be painting our own Christmas ornament and we're going to personalize it, make it our own. I have my materials here, primary colors, yellow, red, blue, and black and white. And I have my paper canvas, my two brushes, flat brush and a round brush, and a pencil, paper towel, cup with water, and we're also going to use a cup for this one. Let's get started. With the cup, or anything round that you may have, I want you to place it, instead of being right in the middle, okay, but actually place it right in the middle first, right, of the paper. I have my, per my paper vertical, long ways. Now just start moving it a little bit to the left and down. So it's just going to be a little off center, okay? Just like that, left and down, just about that. Now trace it. Here it is. Okay, now from here I want you to, right on top of the, the circle, I want you to make as if coming from outside of the paper, make a diagonal line going out. And then another one going up, and then another one coming down. So it kind of looks like a chicken feet, <laughs> chicken foot. <laughs> That's it. And then right on top of the circle, I want you to think of making a triangle, but you're not going to go all the way up. Just half of a triangle and cut it in half. Just about that. And this is all we need to draw for now. Now let's get painting. First we're going to start with the background and I think I'm going to make my background some different colors, you know, a mixture of reds and blues so it will turn into purple. But I'm not going to over blend it so that way it can kind of you can kind of see some of the blues and the reds. I'm mixing them together here in my palette and you're going to see you're going to get oops, a little bit of a purple but it doesn't have to be 100% mixed. I'm going to kind of mix it as I go along, up and down on the canvas. So you see some parts that are gonna be more red, some parts that are going to be more blue, and I like that. It's gonna look cool. I'll also add, I think it's gonna look cool, to add some white. See, I'm kind of mixing as I go, and I just go up and down. If you want to outline your, yes, I think it's a good idea. Outline the ornament, so that way you don't go on it, the circle. You don't want to go over it. And then just paint around it up and down. Just like that. You can add some white, mix it as you go. Use some water so that way your, your brush is nice and flowing. It looks just smooth as can be. So are you seeing this? Are you seeing some different colors being created as you go in paint? I'm mixing the colors, but I'm mixing them on the canvas or paper. Gotta move fast because acrylic paint dries pretty quick. So you see how I have some of this area is a little more red and this area is a little more blue. It's okay. I like it. It's supposed to be just a mixture of everything of all those colors. 
keep moving up and down, up and down, up and down. Add some water to your paint. Don't give up, keep moving. Adding a little white. See, I just grab a little red and then I put it on the canvas. I get a little white, put it on the canvas, blue, put it on the canvas. Just keep moving up and down. Try not to paint over the circle. If you do, it's okay, it's fine. We're going to paint right over it. So it'll be fine, but try not to. I just feel like it's easier for you later if you can see the circle clearly. Moving up and down, up and down. I'm almost done. Just like that. All right, do you see this? You see how many colors I put in here? Those three colors, but you can kind of see them individually, right? Okay, I like what I see. I hope you like yours too. If you're still not 100% satisfied, just keep blending, keep blending, keep going up and down. Add a little water to your brush and keep going up and down and you're going to like it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be somehow blended all together. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush and get started with my ornament. And I will make this ornament red. You can make it any color you like. You can make yours gold, you can make yours silver, you can make it, you can make it match your Christmas tree. What color is your Christmas tree decoration? What colors do you have? Okay, I'm going to do all, all red. So I'll line it. I like to outline it first. And then I'll color it in, just like that. And then I'll get some white. After you outline the whole ornament, get some white. And just a little bit, we're going to highlight the right side of it. Okay, just move your brush around as, as you curve on the right side of it. So it's going to be a little bit lighter on the right. Just like that. Got it? So I just kind of blended here in the middle a little bit, but I left the, the, the left side just red. If you end up painting the whole thing that color, just go back on with red on the opposite side to make it a little bit darker from the right side. But if you're able to leave it just on one side, then that's great. Good, so far so good. Okay, we're going to move right along. Now for this part, I'm gonna put my brush down. We're going to paint a little tip of our Christmas tree where the or ornament is hanging from. So let's make green for the tree using yellow and blue mixed together. Make green. I hope you can see the line that you made before. If you didn't, you can either go ahead, go with the pencil and then make the line again or if you feel comfortable and confident, you can just go with the brush and make that line right there. Just paint it. Just like that. So I have a little chicken foot right here. Three lines. And after you make the line, now let's make it spiky. 
just like an evergreen. So what we do is we're going to go from the center out at an angle. And then when you get to the tip, make a little point. Do it on both sides. On both sides you have to bring the, the strokes out as if you're giving it some hair. Quick little strokes. Gonna make some more green. I didn't have enough. And then quick little strokes. Try to end it with a point if you can. That would be great. And do it on all of the all three lines here. On both sides. Bring it out, bring it out. And then allow the end to be pointy. One line instead of the two lines. Just like that. Nice! I like it so far. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight it a little bit. So I'll add a little bit of white to the green that I had. So now I have light green. See that? Some light green. And then give it some highlights. So I'm just going over again, but not as much, less, but doing the same motion. So I can still see the dark green is underneath. So just this just gives it another layer, makes it a little more three-dimensional, more realistic. Try not to overdo it. You still want to see the green, the dark green. It's very important. Just in some areas. See, I feel like I added too much over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with the, the dark green and bring it back because I went too much. Okay. Very nice. I like what I see. Do you like your Christmas tree? Okay, so far so good. So far so good. I'm going to clean my brush now and let's go back to the ornament. Add a few more details to it, shall we? Get some black and with the black, don't you remember that half triangle that was on top of it? Yeah, we're going to paint that black. So bring that half triangle, cut it in half. It's a triangle here in the bottom, see? But with no tip, you cut it in half. Just like that. And then we have to make the little loop. We have to make it hanging from the tree. So we're going to pick one side. I'm going to pick the right side and I'll make a straight line going from the center and I'm going to loop it over into the Christmas tree. But I'm only doing one side because the other side is behind it. So then under the, the tree, I'll continue by bringing it down like this. Just like that, you see? It's gotta feel like it's inside. So you can't make the loop all the way around. Now you can clean your brush a little bit. I'm just wiping it off. And I'll get a little bit of white just to give it some highlight. So I'll highlight the right side. Again, the same side that the, the, the ornament's highlighted. And I'll highlight a little bit of that 
on the right side. Just on the right side. Just like that. Nice. Okay, what are we going to do here for the, the ornament? What shall we do? What shall we do? We have options. You can make a little beautiful design. You can make, you can make, um, you can write something. You can write your name or you can write joy. You can write love. You can write Noel, whatever you like. I think I'm going to make a little design. So I'm actually going to get an even more detailed brush. I have an even skinnier brush here, okay, with a nice point. And if you have that, that's great. If not, you can try your best to do it with the one that you have. And I will get some black. And I think I'm just going to make a little wiggly line going right through the ornament. Just like that. And then I will make one round here and then another curved line here. So two curved on top and then I'll do two curved in the bottom. I'm just being creative. can do anything you want for yours. I think it needs a little more. Maybe I'll add a dot in between the wiggly lines. Up and down, a little dot. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that gave it a little more. What else can I do? Okay, let me clean my brush. Maybe I'll change colors. And I'll add a little highlight. Highlights are important with white. So I think I'm just going to add a little line here and then one here, another one here. And these are, these are, this is part of the design. I suppose it is, yes. Okay, that's good, that's good. I like it. All right, I think for my ornaments, this is good enough. I don't want to overdo it, but you can always add some swirls, some dots. Like I said, you can write something, whatever you feel like it, okay? It's your ornament. But I still do feel that the background is very plain. So how about we add some lights? Using your fingers, let's get some yellow and we'll make a bunch of yellow dots everywhere. Make, make little clusters of it. Make them scattered. Just have fun with it. Some can be close, some can be far. Some can, some, some can be in a group. So just keep dabbing, little dot, dot, dot. Dots are my favorite. And you can go everywhere. Okay, that already made something happen. Now I'm going to get a little bit of white. And I think the white is also gonna help it come to life. So I'm even overlapping them a little bit. So have some white, some white dots too. It's just a little stamp, you see? I just go boop, boop. And then when you feel like it's too faint, the color, then you can reload and dab it again. Keep dabbing. Oh, 
that looks so nice. Looks like Christmas lights, right? Okay, I think that's enough. I like the way it is. I had fun painting it. Did you have fun painting your ornament? I hope so. I'll see you again tomorrow for another painting challenge. Bye bye. Every day brings us closer to Christmas Day and makes us better artists. I would love to see what you painted. So post it on my Facebook page at Spotty Dotty Show so I can see it and you can get a chance to win prizes. See you again tomorrow for another painting challenge.